Hello there guys and welcome back to some more fairy tale fables. We are still in the beta brands, so yes, and I couldn't find a match for the real time. Tried a couple of times, and uh, so we're going into an all one because I do want to play here, or asynchronic, so uh, it's gonna be asynchronic today, or in this episode. Sprout the gambler, or dices, the, the ugly duckling of the tomb. Uh, yeah, the brother gambler is pretty much terrible now. <laughs> He's just, I don't ever want to take him because it's every three lost unspent golden mana. Yeah, <laughs> it's just terrible. I think Fortuna is probably the best of these four. Ugly Darkling is, it's not good. It's just, it's just not good. It's just not good. Brother gambler and Ugly Darkling is probably the two worst heroes, if you ask me. Yeah, probably so. Uh, at least very close to. Uh, definitely in the bottom five. In in the bottom five heroes. Uh, but the other two is fairly decent. I would say top ten maybe. I do like Odysseus and I do like Fortuna. So, guess we're gonna go Fortuna here. I think I think she's actually quite good. Getting getting those tier six units is actually kind of nice. Even if it's random, it's still usually almost every single time I've taken her, I get something out of it. Somehow, for some reason, so yeah, that's uh, that's how we're gonna do it. Uh, yeah, that's not re. I guess we could go scaling with the sprout here. I guess nah. could do dwarfs. I'm gonna take a risk here on the sprout. It's not very often I take it anymore. I took it a lot when I started playing this game. I did smiling sprout almost every single time. But I don't think he is as good anymore. He's actually been nerfed in a couple of uh, a patch or two ago. Um, he's not as good as he was when I started out with this game. That's a tough choice. Do we take another Smiling Sprout or do we take the Frog? I think we take the Frog. But we, yeah, because we could also potentially get a spell in the next shop here, which would be fairly good. We Probably do I want the gold or do I want the shield? I, I'll take I'll take the chance and go spell and hopefully Well we cannot get another spell in the next shop, so I will take the sword here, but still look for another spell or frog in the next shop here. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll take that. Might even take double sheep. Maybe the dwarf actually, because we have a uh, sword. But anyway, not a not a bad way to go here. Not a bad way to go. We're gonna lose this one. No, we're not. <laughs> Never mind. Chocolate wasted again. Wow, I see him in pretty much every single time. He must be playing a lot. Latency as well. Also, someone that and this guy. He's also pretty high in the leaderboards. He actually got two boards here. Okay. And then chocolate waste again. Huh. Oh, we only have one chocolate wasted. But two two of these. This guy. Come back, come back, 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 whatever his name is. Um, yeah, he, yeah, he's he's pretty far up the leaderboard if I'm not mistaken. So interesting, interesting, interesting. Very good lobby it seems maybe. Do, 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 do. Well, we definitely take this. I just don't know what we do from here. We could re-roll and try and find another prince instead of this shop. I mean, the dwarf is not bad, but uh, I don't really want it. Okay. I guess we do... Yeah, I don't really want the owl. Well, then I can't do this, which is probably better. And... Goose? I think we're going Goose here. Ah, actually, no, we're going to go Elaine, just because it's a 4-3 ranged unit. Might even put it up here, actually, just for the extra attack potential. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. All right, that was good. Good job. Please kill that. Yes, good, good, good. That was perfect. That was perfect. Good damage to latency. Uh, okay, tier three. I always struggle a little bit in tier three to kind of figure out what I'm going to go for. Could be fun to take the chameleon and see if we can get him to work. Not very likely he's going to slay anything against the amateur here. So I guess not. Do, 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 do. I think we take the imp just because of how high his numbers are in that shop. Yeah. And then I think we re-roll for maybe another prince or something like that. 
the egg. Hmm. I think we just take a little bit more numbers in there. Put a 7 on him because he do have 7 princes, but that could actually be 6-6 six, six princes because of these spells. But in any case, I'm going to put it on him, or maybe the ranged actually. 5-3, that might be better actually. Sure. Alright. Alright, yeah, that's... wow. Wow, that's high tempo. That is extremely high tempo. Nothing I could have done there to, to not take the damage. It's just sometimes you just get beaten by the high tempo. And... Guess Playful Dodge on Determined Plowman is not exactly bad. But it's not great either. Well, actually, he doesn't really scale with food that way. Nah, he doesn't. Hmm. It's kind of one of those shops where you're just sitting there thinking, well, what am, what am I supposed to do with this? Snow White. Probably not. Yeah, I think we just reroll that and see what we get. Pook, I always like a poop. Also have a demon. I guess Pook and Demon is not bad here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we can gamble on actually winning that. Especially not with a range in slot one. And I think we're just going Pook and Demon for a bit more. Damage output, I suppose. How much health did that one have? Probably a bit more now. Guess we're gonna give it to the demon and hope he's gonna slay that ranged unit in the front. Yeah, I guess that's the best we can do here. Not exactly great, but it's not terrible either, I suppose. Kill it. Alright, we're good. Alright, we're good. Very high tempo as well here. Is we're gonna go another imp, maybe? Yeah, I think we're going another imp instead of this guy. Don't think he's worth it anymore. The princes are only worth it for a couple of rounds and then they're like, ah, you need to get them up there. Especially if you're going demons. Do, 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 do. Plowman. Oh, it's an impatient farmer. Don't want to see anything in this shop. I think we're gonna reroll with this so we have another chance of getting a spill and also an imp. Also have a demon harbinger. That might be interesting to take as well, actually. 14 health seems fairly good. Don't have anything that scales with spells anyway, so I think Aerial Helmet seems like the perfect option. And I do think I want this as well, so I think we're gonna sell the Rins. Yeah, and the sheep, or yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Well, that's the 2730 right there. That should. It should help us out a little bit here, the next fight. I didn't even check it, but it should be good. Ah, uh, yeah, it's gonna soak a bit of damage here for us. And we got the Pook out. Probably want the Pook over here, actually, to get the stars out a little bit earlier, but okay. Well, well, well. Not too bad. We get our... <laughs> so There's gonna be a Merlin. Actually, I think the last time I played her, I also got a Merlin. We are kind of looking at figuring out some kind of booster build here. Somehow. <laughs> Just as sure. We don't see any boosters here, do we? No. I think we might win the next one, actually. Let's check it out. The Pook. And a bit of... Yeah, I think we are 
pretty much gonna win that one. I think I'm gonna actually gonna put it on the Merlin here because that's the most likely character to keep playing with. Do have a couple of let's see, what do we have here? That is kind of interesting with boosting. Oh she's oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> hmm. He's also kind of interesting because we would have a plus four. Yeah, that's kind of interesting instead of the prince. That's an 11-11 brave little tailor. Might even want him to do that so he got more health to deal with all of that. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. He could be very annoying. He could be very, very annoying for the opponents. I think I'm also gonna give the Merlin a bit more health back there. And damage apparently as well. Uh, he's also a range, so you know, he'll do things. He will do things. Uh, I guess not. All right. All right. Hit the blue bell. Not the best one to hit with the, <laughs> with the brave little tailor here, but it's uh, she's pretty far from our tempo here, so yeah. Oh, she. Oh, okay. I thought it was the other one actually. Yeah, no, no, no. He went auras and dogs and yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna go and say we don't really want anything there. That seems pretty good. Yeah, that's just a pretty big upgrade. I'm wondering if I should go for her and go stars here with the Merlin as well. We do. There is a build around boosters and stars for sure, but. It's a bit of a gamble to do that instead of just going kind of boost things in that direction. What tier force is there actually in uh... Nocturne? Nocturne could probably not be that interesting, Guardian. Dandelion would be sort of interesting if we were going Dandelion and then into Star Child, right? With that boosting setup. But probably more so in tier 4 we are looking for another Brave Little Taylor. Yeah, Rapunzel and Brave Little Taylor, I think. Probably the two we're looking for. Hmm. So do we reroll that? I think we do just to find a Rapunzel or the Brave Little Taylor again. Yeah, I mean, both of them are pretty good. And I don't think the Rapunzel is actually that great. He, she, she, she have more potential, right? Because of the stars. You got way more potential. And I also think maybe the demon is actually... Maybe this is even better because of the boosting we do here. Instead of the aura. We get double boosting on the Rapunzel. That seems pretty good. And we do also get the stars for her. Well, or for the Pook actually more so. But I think that's pretty decent overall. I think we could also just sell all of this and take another booster. Which is a bigger version of, her, of this one. Getting more out of that value. I think it's, yeah, again, more, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, do we get anything from tier 3 treasures here? Not really. Not really. Not really. I think I'll rather just go more boosting here. And another tier 4 as well. There we go. 33, 34, 11, 25, 29, 22, and we get a pretty decent amount out of the pook. And we have a we kind of have a way into stars. Uh, a star boosting kind of situation here. Uh, no. Don't think that's any good. Alright. Ouch, that's annoying. We didn't get any big stars out there, but. Hey, whatever. We got some pretty big numbers anyway. Hope I do some damage here. Yes, we do actually really good damage to him. Nice. But any upgrade for tier 4 here could be good. We didn't get any. Okay. Guess we're re-rolling that. I don't think I've ever taken... Well, I did take it in the very early stages of this game when I started playing. 
after that I've never used it. There's not a whole lot of not there's not a lot of scenarios where I want to lose one XP to gain nine gold and pay three gold in one mana and also use all of my remaining mana. It's just not very often that happens. Uh, another fairly bad job here, I would say. Don't see anything we want. Nothing, nothing in potential here. It's just gonna be another reroll, unless we want the vitality for two. Not terrible to get to take the health here, I guess. But yeah, like, why not? We don't. We're not really looking for anything except from just upgrades on what we have. Yeah, no, I want. I don't want that. Guess we could take a. a one more gold here, sure. That's incredible. We don't see anything we want. Jesus Christ. Come on, game. Come on. Radiant. Oh, Stargo, sorry. Uh, no. I just. No. Pouch? No. Ah! What a shop this was. What a bust. What a bust. <sighs> well, keep rolling. Terrible. It's it's like I don't even want to lock that in, do I? I I've just got to straight up take her instead. Because I don't really want to lock this shop in. There is also a tailor. Of course, we can get both the tailor and the Rapunzel in the same shop. We almost don't have enough to take it. Yeah, that's uh, very typical, isn't it? How big is he? He's at 2012. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, maybe maybe that's going to be better. I mean, the pooks are, mm, you know, whatever. It, it, it could still be good. I'm going to keep him for sure. If we get a star child in the next shop, well, there we go. Then we are probably into it. Uh, but it, it, it is definitely only the star child that would be working within this kind of setup. Um, so yeah, maybe that's better. I don't know, it's probably... Yeah, actually yes, because we don't really need more than 6 damage on him over here, so... Yeah, sure. Doesn't really do a whole lot. And so what we're looking for is Pendragon. Pendragon for this bot. Or a Star Child. That's the two main things we're looking for here. So we can move Merlin up here, we can move this guy up here, and these in the back line. Or Dacia, which is also going to work out with Pendragon in the long run. Instead of the little bit. Uh, but he's, pre he's pretty good as well. He's not, he's not bad. It's a pretty good setup right now. It's a pretty good setup. Do we log it? Nah, I'm not gonna. Nah. I don't think it's worth... Looking for another tier four here, I don't I, because I don't think he's gonna work out in the long run, so I don't think so. And I think we're just gonna let it go, and hopefully we get another Rapunzel to upgrade into. That would be the best case scenario. Definitely want to upgrade her. Also getting more out of her, um, yeah, boostering booster ability. <sighs> another Dandelion is not terrible either because we could keep her, but it's. Probably not worth it. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it because, again, it's giving me another option of getting a tier 4 treasure. And I wouldn't mind a tier 4 treasure here, I think. Actually, it's more tier 5 is actually better for boosting. Tier 5 treasures are better. But, um, yeah, I'll take a tier 4 as well. There is Pendragon. That's pretty good. Let me take him. I think he's actually coming in there instead of her. So we move them to the background and them up here. So we have the boosters in the front. This might actually be better. Even this might be better. So we got really big units in the back. Um, yeah. We don't really get a lot out of the dandelions with... I mean, he's probably still going to be... I mean, he doesn't really have the... Damage, does he? He got the health, but not the damage. Oh, I think this is better. Just straight up think that is better. But of course, not a lot of damage on them, but they are ranged, so if we can get damage on them somehow... Well, then we're talking. Well, these are just gonna be bigger, you know, damage sticks right now. <laughs> damage sticks. Just gonna be better to have them in the background here. 
Let's roll for Pendragon. Star Child could also still be good to find. We get double tier force here and this spell. That's perfect. So I think we're gonna. Pook is still pretty good, so. I think we're gonna give up the hope here on him. Just to get a tier 4 upgrade. We can still move the Star Child in there, which could actually be good. But is it gonna be Rapunzel or is it gonna be Dandelion we are upgrading here? Hmm, I think it's better for her. I guess we are locking this in anyway. For another tier 4. So we also need some units next turn, that's for sure. But let's just do, do her first because she's gonna be massive, right? She's gonna be a massive unit. And we could move one of the Dandelions back here. And it would still be fairly big and then get something out of the stars as well. Uh... For each level you're above. I mean, the Aura is definitely better than the power back already now. Oh, well, it's the same, basically. So I think Rising... I mean, the Hunters are... I think the Hunter Talisman is, again, pretty decent, but... I think I'd rather just kick people out with having more power on the board. Rather than... I mean, we haven't taken a lot of damage as of late, but it could be good later on to have this, but... I'm gonna go with the Rising Power instead. Obviously not the best options there. She's a 78, 68, which is not terrible. And she got unyielding, which is really nice. So she's, she's going to be annoying to deal with, isn't she? <laughs> uh, and then we're boosting up this Dandelion. So she's a pretty big ranged right now. Plus, she is giving Pook the stars. Maybe that is actually better. There's two big ranges back here. Also an unyielding up here. She's not very, very big, right? She's not massively big. She's still fairly big. Because he gets he gets the uh, buffs from both the dandelions here. I don't like her up there. Let's check out who we are against here. Because we had two ranged here who got 19-19. That is kind of a lot of power or range to have back here at this stage in the game. Plus, we also get more out of um, the Pook that way, I think. Or potentially get more out of it. Yeah, I like that. It might be a way smaller Rapunzel, but we actually potentially gain more damage out of it in the long run. Or right now in this uh, game. Because of the stars. And the ranged. There we go. Nice. He's out. John Diak on latency or latency on Sean Diak. We have got top four here now. We got a what's this? Pirate build. Probably a pretty big character coming out with that. What is this called? Sinbad here. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. So we look for another character. Because we do this, we're definitely looking for another character to put in there. Another another boost that would actually be good. The shop contains extra characters. That seems pretty decent in this. We're still looking for quite a few characters, actually. And I don't really want to do the Matter Catalyst, and I don't really want the Talisman. So I think Weird Compass is still okay to take here. We definitely should now when we are looking for more characters. Watson is not bad. Watson is not bad at all. But he might even be better in the front line here, so we give... Nah. He's not, he's not a bad shot. He's not a bad shout. Getting a bit of... Getting a bit of that up is sort of interesting. Is he ranged? Nah. But I mean, would, would I find anything better here? I don't think so. I think he's just straight up good to put in there. Might even put him up here instead. Because it, they would also have the death cap. The, the dying breath. Uh, Rapunzel. I mean, he's unyielding, so maybe it's more fun to have him up here. We have two unyieldings. And pop these two up with the Dying Breath. Or maybe this, because he's lower in health. That might be better. I don't think that exactly... I think I think this one needs to correspond with the stars. <clears throat> I think, I, I'm not... I, I haven't figured that one out. Actually. 
because this boost for you and for each charge star charge additional two stars so i think it actually does need to boost the one that is getting the stars i guess we're just gonna do that instead here but this is also kind of fun because we are up against the amateur here i think we are actually gonna do this so we can actually gain a little bit more from watson yeah because that is dying breath three times right yeah and then we can go look for another character would be good to get another pendragon maybe to upgrade into but yeah actually it's not that significant i think the star child might be better here Fuck this. Mm, no, nothing. All right. Still a pretty decent build, but I think we're gonna get a hit here. I think this amateur build is probably gonna kick our ass. Yeah, I think he got too big numbers. Too many hybrid probably coming out of this. Yeah, ooh, it's, ooh, it's gonna be really nasty. Oh, this is gonna be nasty, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Nothing summoned? Oh, we didn't kill Sinbad. We didn't kill Sinbad. That monkey would have been really big if we killed Sinbad first. Oh, good thing we didn't kill Sinbad first. Holy moly, that would have been bad. Succubus, so a bit of scamming here. Okay, that is pretty bad for us, actually. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. You got a lot of scamming in there. I don't like that scamming. <laughs> uh... Yeah, just roll that double pen dragon, sure. I'll take a tier five and a better boost, I suppose. Extra hero? Hmm. I mean I think for tuna is I mean we hmm. And what would we take out? I mean the areas the areas is not really giving us anything right now. The extra gold could also be good. I think, well, I think the hero mask could give us something instead of the areas here. It could be good. I mean, the rising power is also a little bit meh. But I think it's okay. It's basically better than the helmet. Let's go look for another hero here. Same got chill on booster build. Uh, no, absolutely not. King Midas, no. Amateur. The first time you read, nah, that's not gonna work. Uh, every three spell you cast, repeat the spell one time. Hercules is actually kind of good. Because we haven't been under 20 health left, uh, 20 health yet. So I think doubling the character's buff, uh, um, health when we do get there is probably the best of these. So, sure, why not? Why not? It's not the best, it's not the worst, it's just, it's something. Another pen dragon. I don't think that works. I do not think that works. That's an aura that is kind of good, but also not really. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think we... Yeah, I think the only thing we kind of look for here in tier 5 is probably a star child. Uh, Dr. Watson upgrades. Ah... Uh, well, it depends on uh, the collection here. Um, do we have any... Well, it's treasure, actually. Do we have any tier 5 that we are actually in need of here? Yeah, there is. There is actually quite... There is the boosters, right? We have the boosters in the bag. There's another booster. Where is it? Could be in here. Shooting star could also be interesting. Yeah, shooting star and the booster is actually worth trying to pick target here. Also, a couple of other things that might be interesting, maybe. Hero Helix could be interesting because we get the underlying power. We could double, we could triple the... Yeah, it's it's definitely worth it here. He's not, he's not exactly the character we want. And it is a lot of gold to spend on it, but we could get something really good out of it instead of looking for tier 6s. The tier 6s is also good. I mean, don't get me wrong, but... Uh, I think it's actually worth trying to get that. Also, just getting more out of that boost, apparently, is. But maybe we want to put him back here again. Eh, uh, you know, no, not really. <laughs> no, not really. 
Especially not with Succubus and all that scam in there. No, I think we're just putting him in the front line. Hmm. Maybe Merlin is better in the back line here. Potentially. 43, 27, 35, 21, 25, 12, 62. Hmm. Hard to tell. No, I think he's better than the front line. I think he's better than the front line. Oh, we do have another gold here. Could we? Nah, we can't really do anything. Let's see if the scams is gonna get us. It didn't really get us here. It actually worked out kind of in our favor. Well, not in our favor, but at least it didn't do anything bad for us. He is ranged. Merlin is ranged, which kind of is tempting to go for backline then on Merlin. But that double boosting, that aura of your boost R1 X stronger, is also working for the back. Nah, do the hours actually. Yeah, if I boost our aura, it carries. Yeah, so it does also work for the back line here. Yeah, I don't think we want to move him to the back line. Um, the tie cabinet. That would work with Dr. Watson quite well, actually. But. Yeah, I mean, I'll take it because it costs nothing, but. I think we're gonna do this and see what we get here. But yeah, it could be it could be interesting with uh, getting more cats out there. Oh, okay. Hmm. When you summon a character, give it plus two plus two for each character summoned this fight. We also have a captive out there. I mean, we could go that direction instead of the stars. The stars doesn't really work anyway right now, so I feel like actually that's not too bad. Kind of, again, just giving us a little bit more than what we have. This is, is probably better than this. Maybe better than the compass, but... 2-1, that's a 6-3. Six, 6-3, three. Six, three. well, this when you summon a character, give it plus 2, plus 2 for each character to summon this fight. Yeah, I think maybe the cats are gonna be better here. Do the, do these, what is it called? The cat, the, um, do, do she actually also, you, yeah, that's an aura. That's an aura. So we could put her, her in the front line. Huh. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. How many evil characters do we have? Not so now we have good characters. I think we do go for the cat altar here actually. Instead of the rising power. And I do also think we're gonna go for the catnip here and put that in front of the Dr. Watson. Um we just need to figure out how to we probably move them over here, but that's a yeah, we only need someone one here and one here. Well that's still also gonna be a lot of hero power, which is not bad either. So I think, well, the Rapunzel is coming in. Um, I think this is not terrible. Plus taking him out and buying, uh, buying this. That is kind of interesting. What do we do this and put her back here and one of the cats? That's a 78, 72 back here. And the cats could pull, but I, he's gonna die then. But it's gonna be. We're still gonna get the effect, right? Yeah. Hmm. This is better. Just getting a lot of. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's four. It's probably four every turn, but getting more cats and more cats and more cats and more cats. I think the cats might take over here. Actually, I think she's pretty good, but it's not really for the long run. I think the cats could be for the long haul here in terms of uh, winning the game. That's pretty good.
Oh, it's plus two every time. So it's actually, it, this could potentially, it's probably very likely going to be plus eight every turn. That's quite a bit. Oh, wait, this is actually summoning three times. So yeah, it's uh, it's quite a bit. It's quite a lot. Plus it's boosting up the entire rest of the board here for potential... Well, that's only the summon character. We're definitely going to go for this pie cabinet here for sure. All right. Very different direction here. Huh, she's actually more damage, but less. Oh, she's also an upgraded version. We don't have any stars in there, so I guess I'll just take the prince for now. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go for the prince. All right, cool. Let's go. I didn't even check up on this guy, so uh, what he had, but ouch. Hmm, that's not good. Just straight up killed my Rapunzel. Oh yeah, we. <laughs> I thought we were good. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> the with the summoning here now that is ah, we don't have evil characters unfortunately it's not gonna work but this is probably gonna work instead of this and i guess she's moving to the background now 44 it's not just a just a good enough anymore we just need more cats now we just summoners is just gonna be more powerful for us than the boosting I think. Uh, yeah, we didn't find the star child. If I had found the star child, we were probably moving in stars instead, but right now it looks like we're going cats. Gretel could also be very, very good here. Just because of how much damage we actually get here. I think we're going to take her. Because I think she could be worth it. And actually she's already almost worth it here. Compared to the uh, Rapunzel. Yeah. Just bring her in there. She's already now better. And she's only going to become even stronger with more po uh, power here. So we're kind of going into a hunter cat build here. Uh, yeah. I think the Merlin is potentially still worth it because of the Dr. Watson combination. And he has a tier 6, we could... Yeah, I think it's worth locking him in, actually, and getting maybe a tier 6 treasure out of that. Because he's still gonna be good. I, I don't know if his upgrade is actually 2x. Um, that's the wrong Merlin. We're looking for Merlin over here. Yeah, it's 2x. That's actually extremely powerful. If we could get him upgraded. That would be extremely powerful. Uh, yeah, let's lock him in. Cool. Do we cast this? Um, sure. Oh, we are in top four now. Okay. I think this guy might have us beaten here with his build. We'll see. We will see. We, well, we do get a lot of power here. 43, 47, 40, 58, uh, yeah, this uh, 51 actually, 55. That's a lot, that's a lot. Um, but I mean, if we don't survive for long, it doesn't really matter. As a, we didn't even get to the scamming part. Uh, yeah, he got us beaten so hardly here. It's uh, not even fun. We are definitely not looking good for the uh, top two here. 15, it doesn't really help me a lot. Frankenstein doesn't really help me a lot. Reveal doesn't really help me all that much. Um, no. Uh, just big demons. Yeah, this could be good actually. It's just casting six. I'd rather actually roll for something. If we can't back it past him, well, who cares then? Then we're in top three, right? No. 
Yes. Yes. Oh, I can't even tell which one is going to be better. 55, 100% listeners. Well, I guess I'm going to go Merlin first here because we can get even more Dying Breath out of the Watson here from that. Boosts are doubled. Seems pretty good here. That's going to be even more Dying Breath, which is leading us to even... Yeah, that should be good. Do we need the Herculean here? We're down to 10 health. No, not really. I think we can actually replace it. Yeah. And I think we do log in this uh, Sherlock here. And also a Hansel is absolutely fantastic. We can replace uh, this and maybe one of the supply cabinets with a Hansel and Sherlock. I think that's going to be better now. Just because of how big we already are and we need the power in there, so... Yeah! Um, so this is going to trigger how many... I don't even know how many times it's going to trigger. Um, so... Boosts are doubled. So his boosts are doubled. Which is boosting... I don't, I, I don't I don't understand this, but maybe let's just check out who... He's not that big, actually. But maybe with the Rapunzel up there, it might be very big. You know that's already bigger so but maybe maybe he's actually worth it in there maybe this is even worse nah, 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 nah. <laughs> no but i think that might actually be worth it instead of this cat because it's not really summoning over here anyway so i don't think actually i think he might be worth it instead because it's just gonna give us a big bigger number in the background here also on all of them actually yeah quite a bigger number No. No, I still want that. I still want that in there. What about Merlin back here, actually? No. I want him here to boost up. But here's the thing. It's probably better to have double boost here. Because this, this is... Two, so, let's see, actually. 124. Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think this is just better. I think that is the best case scenario. Also having her back here because she will grow with this dying. So get, getting her back here is actually better. She might even be better behind this. But just because, yeah, that's, yeah. I think this is probably the ideal choice. <sighs> Question is, do we take a Gretel right now, or Hansel right now? Uh, we could get to it. But... I think it's going to be better next turn when we also have the Sherlock Holmes where we are going to replace the Rapunzel and one of the cabinets, right? Because we're putting Sherlock in front of the Dr. Holmes here to kind of trigger the extra big Gretel and extra big grown-up Hansel. I mean, the only thing that really hurt us here is probably scamming and... Yeah, he got scams, so... That could hurt us quite a bit. But I think it's still better to do that than what we're doing right now. Just keep increasing. Uh, and I don't think the boosters are... It's not quite there. <laughs> I think boosters are not quite there anymore because of Lady of the Lake is not in there anymore. Unless my positioning is just terrible, but I don't know. Yeah. We also don't have Grenivere. If we have Genevieve or whatever her name is, that could potentially be better for boosting. That could potentially be better. Look at how big she already is down there. Yeah, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be good, but I don't think it's gonna win over the um, Gamma. This guy could potentially win over this dog build. Yeah, could be. That and also that, but we're gonna put... I guess we're gonna have him up there, but probably on that spot instead. Maybe we want her up there because she got the sleigh. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. Have the Hansel back here. I wish we could get a upgraded version of this. That would be pretty decent. Also another tier 6. Delve. Hmm. 
Well, we do get January. Um, I don't know if that's going to be better than one of the Hansels or anything. It's very hard to figure out, but I think I could. Oh, we also have a. Okay, that's probably better. That's probably better. But I am tempting to lock her in to figure that out, actually. Can we get to her? Not really. Is this just gonna be better now? Because it's already at 104. That's gonna be four. Yeah, it's probably better. It's probably we, we got really high numbers by doing that. Um, but I'm tempting to go for that. Tempted to go for the genuine. Just see how big the numbers would be with the boosting, but I don't think it's anywhere near what this Sherlock Holmes here would do. Just him alone would be still triggering that four times. Sorry, eight times. Those two dying, that's eight times more damage. Well, not eight times more damage, but eight more permanent here. And then they're boosting. Yeah, I think it's... I, I kind of want to log it in to see. I want to I wanna see what it does. I want to see what it does. If we survive, right? If we survive. I, there's a potential where Genuine could be better than what we have here. The boosting could... I, I just got rid of some of the boosting, but we still have a decent amount of boosting, so it could still be good. Wow, that's some big dogs out there. Oof. Uh, he's pretty big as well, but not big enough. We are actually almost dead. Almost dead. Ooh. Well, if we can't beat him, we're definitely not going to beat the scammer. So let's just go with this. And I think he needs to move here. He needs to move here. But well, we don't have enough... Ooh. Boost, receive boosters 1x time. My effect cannot be amplified by other characters. Yeah, that's not really doing anything. I don't understand her. I don't, I don't, I have no idea how she... Boost 1x time. My effect cannot be amplified by other characters. So the Merlin, Merlin is not amplifying her. So she needs to be here because... She gets the effect from the Uther, but she's not really amplifying anything. So what will... When she dies, the boosts are one time bigger. So if we put him up here as well, that should be the boosters down here being one time bigger. But it doesn't really look that big to me. It's, it's slightly bigger, but... Yeah, he's slightly bigger, but... It's not big enough to really go for it here. I think I think this is just better. This is just better. Even this... Nah, we, we definitely want them in there because... They're gonna be massively big. I mean, they, they, it's, this just it keeps going up, right? It just keeps going up. Uh, we do actually have another Rapunzel to... I just don't... I just don't see it being any bigger than the hunter here, so I, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that that's not that's not gonna work for me. I don't I, I don't I just don't understand the boosters enough to get them to get big enough. You need you need a big booster down here, right? You need I mean yes, it would boost the Dr. Watson even further, giving him even further attack. But we wouldn't have the scaling units in there to actually do anything with it. So. And she's she's kind of the best one to receive it. Yeah, but uh, nah, it's too late. I, I might I might try again later on, but it, yeah, it doesn't work right now. It doesn't work for me. Cat Queen. We do have two supply cabinets. We do have the cat altar. I think no. I don't. Again, I, do, I think the hunter is better here. I think the hunter is better. I'd probably rather look for another Sherlock Holmes and then have a supply cabinet in there in that case, uh, or even genuine to boost some of it. But right now, I don't. I don't see how the cat queen and the supply cabinet is going to be better than Sherlock Holmes and getting. 200% here. 
Especially not if we find another Sherlock Holmes in just a couple of hits here. No. Another Cat Queen. Come on. No. Okay, another Sherlock. Well, another Wise Merlin is... Kind of interesting, but we would need to get rid of one of these Sherlock's to do that. But it's kind of one extra booster is, yeah, not worth it. It's not worth it. Not in this setup. Not anymore. It could have been earlier on, but Dark Child could also be massively big here. But again, against the scammer, it's probably and also cats. It's, it's the stars are not gonna do it here. We need massive units. Or, well, actually, I don't know what we do against that scammer cat. I don't know what we do here. Okay. Yeah, I'll take a tier 6 because right now the cat summoner is not working anyway. So we might as well try and find another thing for double hours. That's, that's kind of big. That's kind of big. That is That is actually very big. That is actually very, very big here. Golden King, probably not. I think double hour, double boosting seems kind of good. It's definitely instead of the compass here. The cat altar is not really working right now because of what we have in there. I think I think actually the I would rather have the compass. If we survive one more round, the compass is probably gonna do better than the cat altar. So yeah, you gotta go. Well, that's a massive boost, the double hours here, because it also doubles the Uther Aura, so <laughs> that should be pretty good. <laughs> that should be pretty good. All right. I mean, we got a supply cabinet upgrade that we don't use. <laughs> you know? Nah, I want, I want these to die first so we get an absolutely massive grown-up Gretel and also a massive grown-up Hansel. They're gonna be very big. But I don't I still don't think it's actually big enough to deal with this because of the scams. The scams is gonna get us, basically, I think. But let's find out. Let's find out if we got enough numbers and also a little bit of combat luck. Could you please die? Please die. Oh, here comes the scams. Okay, he died. That's good. Good hit, Gretel. And she also kills that, but lost all her health. That's not good, but seems like we got enough here. Wow. But it was a bit lucky uh, in some of the hits here, of course. Okay. Um... What now? Well, I guess we just continue scaling the Hunter build here and hope for the best that our scams is not killing us. Okay. The good thing is we're probably in top 2 now because he's probably gonna get kicked out by the scammer. Another Cat Queen. Eh. I mean, we took out the Cat Builder here, so no. I think we're just looking for an upgrade for Sherlock. And potentially, I mean, that's with the double hours in there. It's kind of interesting again. Maybe if we get the Sherlock out. What was that? It was like a box in the middle of the... <laughs> I don't know what that was. Maybe a couple of items could be good. That's... That's actually... It's, if he dies, it's... But only if we get an upgrade to the Sherlock. And that, that's going to be a... That's going to be a lot of damage to a couple of characters. It might be worth taking him. It might be worth it, but... Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and say whatever, because we also have a supply cabinet, which is also too good to put in here. With the Sherlock, uh, the, with the Dr. Watson scaling quite a bit of our characters, so... I'm gonna go ahead and say nah, we're probably just looking for the Sherlock Holmes upgrade and then putting the cat box in there. A cabinet, sorry. Or getting a you know a dying breath or something here could be good. Or 
even the hour up or grown up Gretel could be good. There he is. All right, cool. That's very, very good. All right, I'll take it. Now, entrance effects are repeated one time. Well, we don't have any of that. So that's not going to work. Piece of infinity. That's a bit late. At the start of each fight, if you have at least one space free, summon a copy of your first character. Yeah, that's going to be way better than the uh, cabinet. Just straight up better. Uh, question is, what can we take out? Well, the compass, clearly. We don't need that now. So the doppelganger is going to be the doppelganger of Sherlock Holmes here, because that's going to double our damage. I mean, straight up just so much that I don't even... Could also take another Gretel, but... Actually, I think another Gretel might be better. Why? Because we actually... One more big body in there is going to be harder for them to deal with in terms of scamming. Or maybe not, actually. I think we're just going Sherlock Holmes. Well, that is also so much... I don't know. I don't know. I think we're going Sherlock Holmes. I think we might go Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> about the cat? Just more cats. Just double, double supply cabinet. Just scaling go... Actually, in, in this specific... Fight, I am gonna go supply cabinet because that might actually take us into crazy numbers here, right? So this specific fight, I think it's worth it. Yeah, it is. Uh, and then he's coming back in for the real fights. <laughs> Good thing I thought about that, actually. <laughs> uh, I don't think we want to new you anything. I think the only thing we're probably looking for is items now. Yeah, uh, that's the one. That that's that's what we were looking for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take that for Sherlock Holmes. A, a double. Sh oh, it's gonna be. Cr How big are those gonna be? But it's not. It might not be, be enough. It, it depends on their balls actually. But it's gonna be a massive amount of damage here. Is it gonna go into the thousands? It might. It might go into the thousands. I'm not too sure. 200% of 200%. Two times. That's 400%. Or is it? Or how? I think that's 400% of that. But also plus whatever we get in the next. <laughs> it's 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 probably over a thousand. It's probably going to be over a thousand. And that's going to be crazy scaling for the uh, grown-up Hansel and... Uh, Ooh, okay. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. We could actually, if we're unlucky here, we might not survive it. Nah, we're fine. Now, now when the saga is that we're fine. But very good value here. We're 246 in damage now. Is the cabinet just better? Is the cabinet just better, or do we? Nah, I think. Nah, I think we want numbers. I think we want high, high numbers here with uh, with him in there instead of the... But it's, it's definitely good for scaling, but I think this is going to be like... That is going to be... I'm going to go 1200 damage. 1200 in... Yeah, that's probably where we are. We want to attack first. Kind of, yes. Because of his scamming, it would be... Kind of one that Sherlock did very early on. I mean, it doesn't matter too much, but... I don't mind attacking first here, actually. Hmm. I don't even know what we're looking for now. A booster, maybe? A booster for... Maybe the Berlin would be good. I don't even know if they're working anymore. Are they even Are they even worth it? <laughs> yeah, they might be. They might be. All right, here we go. Should be good. It should be good. I don't know. It depends on the scams. Oh, he doesn't have the... Okay. It's still going to be 30. It's going to be 1,900. <laughs> Look at those numbers. Oh, uh, but it might not even be enough depending on the scams. We'll see. We'll see. It, it really depends on the Frankenstein here. Ooh, 
it. Good. Oh, he picked me. Oh. Okay. No. Oh, he got us. He got us one time. One time. He got us one time. How are we gonna deal with that? Is it better to just have this because it's gonna be... I don't think the numbers actually matter. I think more summonings is actually better in there. So I think I'm actually gonna go that direction instead. Also scaling even higher. <laughs> Wolf baits is sort of interesting on the supply cabinet. There's one more death, but it's actually two more deaths. But it's a bit slower for these grown-up Gretels to get there, but it might be better in terms of... Yeah, I think that actually is worth doing. I think that might be worth doing. So we get another one out there, and that's going to be two extra bodies to get through some of the first numbers. And the more summonings we have at the end, the better, because that is the scams maybe hitting them instead of our big numbers, right? We don't want them to hit the grown-up Gretel or the Hansel, because they are kind of what we are... That is kind of our winning kind of... That's how we win, basically. That's probably decent if we get her upgraded, but I mean, it's not that important. She's already so big that it doesn't really matter. Stealth could actually be good on grown-up Hansel here, I think, but I'm not too sure. Ah, uh, yeah, let's roll again here, I suppose. Sure, let's just lock her in. Got an unyielding here, which is not terrible. Not terrible on the... Well, she's already unyielding. Maybe on the grown-up Hansel. Could be good. If he's hitting into a try my net or something. It's... Well, that would, it wouldn't matter then. It wouldn't actually matter. <laughs> the only thing is if it's... Yeah, I don't, yeah, it's probably not worth it, but I think the I'll take the yeah, I'll take I'll take the upgrade on on the Gretel here because she would again be even bigger, but I don't think the I don't think size matters here. <laughs> I actually think summonings matter more here uh in a strange way. In a very strange way. Okay. Well, it all depends on him. It all depends on him. It all comes back to him, right? Okay. Well, we didn't really get the summonings out we wanted here. And here, come, here they come. We got lucky. We got him. We got him. He's down to three health. But it could also go the other way around, right? It, it all depends on it. It all depends on that. Um... W heroes underlying power. No, that's not the poison tree is not really helping me. Don't want to give that up. We don't gonna give that up. We could give that up, sort of. We could have the we could have him in there instead, of course. But I think I'd rather have the summoning. So I don't feel like there's anything here for us. I think we're just gonna. Look for maybe a good item here. I don't think unyielding is the one. Upgrade is kind of interesting on the grown-up Hansel. What is upgrade big wolf gonna do? I have probably nothing. Is that even worth it? I don't think so. <laughs> Another character. Shh. What? I don't even know. Maybe an extra health or something could be good. Aladdin underline the hold on. Tribbled. That would be tribble. That would be tribble. Uh sure. I mean that's that seems pretty good. That's it. It's basically like what I did in the last game. Each two times you roll. Now let's go with the Aladdin here. And move the I don't know what who's thing gonna be better or is Aura's gonna, I think Aura's are gonna be better. Way better, actually. Way better. That's a big boys.
But again, numbers probably doesn't matter here. But boosting with... Yeah. I guess we're gonna go with the biggest numbers we can. That's the hours basically here, so sure. <laughs> and no. Just looking for items. I don't think that's gonna do anything for me. Do, 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 or is it? No. Another booster ring. Is that better than Merlin here? I mean, Merlin is not a big number in there anymore. If we take him out, how big is the numbers? It's still very big. It's just we get more out of Dr. Watson that way, but who cares about that anymore? It's also a big number, but again, it's that is a way bigger number, right? It's a way bigger number than what we could get from Merlin. I think the boosting is actually completely over here. I think we're taking out both. Because that is not really giving us anything except from... Yeah, that's not really... I mean, this is just way better to do because also having them in the back line might help us out. Where this is way better, right? Summoning another big wolf over here who could summon more things over here. Maybe... No, we kind of want him to die first, actually. So something like that. And then we have more room for these big wolves to come out into. And then have all of these guys there. Yeah, that works out. That's better. That's actually better. All right, let's go. Let's see if we can... We should put the biggest boy back there. The biggest girl. The biggest of the girls. Go. Ow! Oh, oh, I forgot I had Sherlock Holmes there. I wanted the... Hmm, that could be a mistake. We'll see, we'll see. Could be a mistake. I'd rather have the summonings instead of him, but... I guess we're gonna have some really big numbers here. But again, it might not... Oh, that's a, ooh, this, this is a really bad situation. Oh, it's really bad. Oh, it's really bad. We might be dead. Oh, it's really bad. Come on. Oh, we're good. We're good. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> that's a, she's big. She's very big. She's a fat girl. <laughs> she, she's a very grown-up Gretel. Oh, but I think I should have had the big wolf over here instead. So we get another summoning going. But either way, it, it worked out in the end. And it's a good first place here, of course. And I think it was worth taking out the boosters. So we actually went pretty strong on the hunter build here. <laughs> but we went into boosting first. And then we pivoted into the hunter build because of how the boosting worked for us with it. With Dr. Watson here. He was definitely MVP here. Dr. Watson won the game for us, <laughs> I would say. He was really solid with that uh, boosting for the uh, long term here. We got a lot of power. I didn't even see how high the number went here, but it was probably, I don't know, was it probably over 2,000, but I didn't see it. But <laughs> I'll see it when I edit the video. It's, 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 it was a big number, wasn't it? <laughs> it was a very big number. Probably the biggest I've, I have seen. So uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was a cool run. That was actually kind of fun. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you around next time.